So you actually don't get a dopamine release when you hit the climax. We have Charlie Kirk fan. May I ask the panel, do you think the long-term benefits of a commitment and monogamy outweigh the short-term dopamine hits that come with less committed, less loyal, damaging relationships slash hookups? We can go around the panel really quick on that, starting with you. Could you um, explain Tom. a little bit more? Give me a little yeah, bit so more. Can I, can I tell Sorry. them about dopamine? So dopamine is uh, called a neurotransmitter. It goes super fast, like a million miles an hour. Not that fast, but like almost. <laughs> it is the reward molecule. So dopamine comes out when you have certain things. Uh, a rewarding, uh, you, it's, it's forward looking, right? Mm -hmm. So you actually don't get a dopamine release when you hit the climax, that's serotonin or oxytocin. Uh, it is in anticipation. So mm -hmm. you're hungry, you're going for a good meal or you're going to the next porn video mm -hmm. or whatever it might be. Um, so the dopamine hits are addictive. So whatever gives you dopamine you want more of um, and your, your brain is really dopamine dumb. So it doesn't know when it's had too much. And Alemke, who did the best book on dopamine, it's called Dopamine Nation, is that for every er interval you go up of dopamine, you must go down. That's why when people go really deep into dopamine, they end up getting into depression in the days or the weeks that follow. 